Hello and welcome to everyone. Today I will discuss to you about mushroom. What is mushroom and morphological character of mushroom? So let's start the video. Mushroom is recognized as fleshy fungi, sometimes tough umbrella like sporophore floating body with spores and has no green coloring matter or chlorophyll. It intakes oxygen but cannot take carbon dioxide from the air and does not need direct sunlight. But the term spore fungi, moral, tooth fungi, club fungi, smooth fungi, puff balls, string horns, jelly fungi and cup fungi as well as toad stool or truffles have been used to refer to edible or poisonous mushrooms. There are different views of the scientist with regard to the origin of the mushroom. The Latin word fungu means to flourish which was used to refer to mushroom and to excrescence from the ground or trees. The term mushroom was coined from the Greek word isphangos, which meant sponge and referred to the sponge-like structure of some of the species. However, the word mushroom is usually thought to be derived from the French word mosuron, muxiron, mousse or moss, but it is not used in quite the same sense. It has been said that Moziron is a barbarous name which has caused endless confusion. Other versions are mushrooms and mosturon and from this it is easy to understand how the country name of mushroom originated. The earliest word in Sanskrit for mushroom appears to be kumpa and fungi. At present, it has evolved into kumbi, which is mostly used in Sindhi, Hindi and Urdu. The word chatra is a later one which is given to the fleshy capped fungi. Other words are kakiromuta, kavaka, bhumikavak and bhashtra. Classification of mushroom Kingdom Fungi Phylum Basidiomycota Class Agaricomycetes Order Agaricals Family Agariaceae Genus Agaricus Species Agaricus Campus Trees Morphology of Mushroom Morphology is a Greek word Morph means form, logos, discourse, deals with the study of form and its development. Also used loosely is referring to the form of an organism. The mushroom is a form of plant life, produce spores, which serve as a mean of reproduction. These spores are invisible to the naked eye, but can be seen under compound microscope. Such spores are carrying in shape, varying in shape, size and color. When the spores germinate, it gives rise to a thin thread-like growth, the mycelium. In order to search for food, these threads pack together to form complex structures and transmit it to the mushroom. The artificially grown mycelium in a sterilized medium, especially on cereal grains, is known as spawn, which serve as a mean of seed, seedling or nursery for mushroom cultivation. Planting of mushroom spawn in the growing medium, either substrate or compost, is called spawning. And white thread-like growth occurred on growing medium after spawning 
is strung as a spawn running. The mushroom first appear as a very small petals are known as pinheads. When it grows, pinhead turn into young unopened mushrooms are called petals. The pileus or cap begins to open up in later stage which is expanded umbrella like structure supported by stipe stem. The pileus may be thick, fleshy, membranous or corky and varies greatly in shape, size and color. According to the shape of the pileus, the mushroom can be put in eight groups, convex, conical, egg-shaped, ambonate, campanulate, bell-shaped, umbilicate, depressed in the center, funnel shape, straight or furrowed and not furrowed. The surface of the pileus may be smooth, hairy or rough. If some portion of the universal wheel or vulva tissue may remain on the expanded pileus in the form of vestigial structure, they may be termed as scales. But if some portion may remain on the stripe, then it is known as the annulus, which is very delicate and can easily be rubbed off or may even be washed away by rains. The vulva universal wheel is a cup-shaped structure surrounding the base of the stripe. On the basis of the presence or absence of annulus and vulva, the mushroom can be put in four categories. Number one, the mushroom in which both annulus and vulva are present as in Amanita species, in which only annulus is present, Agaricus species. Only vulva is present as in Volverilla species in which both annulus and vulva are absent, Merasmia's species. The stipe, stalk or stem may be solid, fleshy, throughout or may be hollow, in which the central cavity is stuffed with pithy substance. Mostly the stipe is centrally attached to the pileus, but in some cases, the attachment may not be exactly in the middle but lateral. Then it is known as eccentric. The shape of a stripe can be cylindrical, having the sum diameter throughout. A spindle shape being solid in the middle and tapering toward both the extremities. Or color shaped when it enlarges towards the top and taper towards the base into a root-like form. The bulbous stripe is that in which the base shows a sudden enlargement, whereas in marginate the strip base widened into a sort of saucer with a well-defined margin. The strip may be stout, cylinder, fibrous, separating or not separating readily from the pileus. The lamellae gills hang below the pileus are generally thin folds, strips of tissue, radiating from the margin of the pileus toward the stipe. These bears spots on their surface and exhibit a change in color corresponding to that of the spores. The attachment of the lamellae to the stipe helps in the identification of the mushroom. When the lamellae do not touch the stipe or only do so by a fine line, they are known as free. When they are attached directly to the stipe, forming nearly a right angle with the latter. They are termed as adnate. If the attachment is only by a part of the width of the lamellae, they are adnexed. When the lamellae extend down the stipe to a greater or lesser degree, they are known as decurrent. 
when they are near the stripe in a deep notch they are termed as sunet morphological character of spores for identification of mushroom can be carried out through spore print for this cut off the stipe just below the pileus place the pileus on paper white paper is normally used although black paper can be used also the virtue of using glass instead of paper is that the glass can be held against a light or dark background and the color of the spores determine more easily if you supposed the spores are white or light in color to place the pileus so that um, on white paper and half on the black paper if the air is dry cover the pileus with a piece of moist paper toweling after a few hours or overnight to lift out the pileus and watch the mass of spores which meantime has been deposited on the paper in the form of a spore print now examine the determined color and identify the mushroom if the spore print is made on a glass microscope slide it can be kept in a slide box no covering or coating is necessary to preserve the print in this way and such print can be kept for many years and often serve as a useful reference